Okay, hi. I don't know why my stream was like, no, a few minutes ago. It was like 40% dropped frames or something. Hi, Emily. Thanks for coming. Thank you to Pandora for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be touring their island in collaboration with them. And as you can see, I'm already wearing clothes that are related to the collection that they're releasing. We'll talk about it. Let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to hear a word about my house the way it looks. I don't want any of you to think about it. Just ignore it. We're just gonna get in the bed. We're gonna leave. But yes, I'm so excited. We're gonna tour the Pandora Island today. It's actually part of their collection that just dropped today. It's called Pandora Me, all about self-expression. It's a very lovely collection and you should definitely check it out. I have linked the collection at the very top of the description box for your perusal. You can also see the dream address here. This is a forewarning. You're gonna want to uh, screenshot or take a photo on your phone and join me. Tour the island with me. It'll be fun. I'm very excited about this. Their island looks absolutely stunning. I did go ahead and visit just so I could get these clothes, but we're gonna look at what other custom designs they have. I hope I'm getting this. Yes, I am. So, uh, oh, thank you, Patrick, for subscribing. Okay, so 83613102 and then 9206. So, again, grab this, come visit with me. It's going to be a great time. Thank you, Bob, Sarah, and also hello. Hi, everyone who's here right now. Welcome to the stream. This is going to be a shorter one. I am just going to be touring their island and then ending the stream, but I think we're going to have a great time. Hello, Rachel. Welcome to the stream. We are on the way. Just to tell you all a little bit about this collection while we're on the way to the island, basically it, like I said, just launched today. It's a collection of charms, bracelets, necklaces, rings, and earrings. They have sent me a couple of items from the collection, but I haven't received them yet, so keep an eye out. I'm gonna post when I do get the items. I'll post them in my community tab. I think they're so pretty. As you can see here to the left, we do have a kiosk on the island where you can save some of the designs for yourself. And like the outfit I'm wearing, they're all really cute. We can go ahead and look at that actually, see what kind of custom designs are going on. Hi, Angela and Donnie, I hope you're doing well today. Honestly, the custom designs here are so cute. So here we are. We have anything from t-shirts to dresses. They have this chain theme, which if you haven't seen the collection yet, check it out. It'll all make sense. I think they're beautiful. They have beanies even. I'm wearing this hat, this link chain hat. And they even have things that are inspired by the charms you can buy, like this burning flame jacket, this light me up t-shirt, Pandora me green. Everything is just so cute. I like this a lot too. Look how cute this sweater is. 
Look at that. Very precious. Anyway, this was just to uh, get you to download these designs because they're really cool. So there's the custom design code. Very cute. Is it just me who is in love with those clouds before I go into a dream? No, I think they're so cool. All right, now that we're here on the island, we're going to go ahead and pick up this stuff. We have a light stick, blue sparklers. Didn't even read that one. Red sparklers. What did I miss? Party poppers. Okay, that's cool. So here we are. I'm going to wander down here first because it's just the easiest place to access. This is the arcade hangout. How cool is this area? It's a little open air gaming space. Because obviously water damage doesn't exist in Animal Crossing. We love to see it. And this design is really cool too. Obviously this is Pandora's logo, so. And we've got one of the people here. One of the representatives. This is Filippo. He is based on a real life creative director for Pandora. So that's cool. If we look at the map, I believe there are multiple... Yes, there are multiple characters. So we've got Francesco and Filippo, both creative directors for Pandora. And then we have Charlie, as in Charlie XCX, who is part of the Pandora Me Collective. We've got B, Dante, and Cecilia. These are all members of the Pandora Me Collective, I do believe. And then we've got really cute villagers too. The Sanrio villagers, this is precious. I think all of the Sanrio villagers are here. Very classic. There's the dream address again, for those of you who missed the very beginning of the stream. Let's keep checking it out. So here is the pool. I'm not Jesus, so I'll stay off of the water. Um, <laughs> this is a very relaxing area. We've got Pandora branded designs here that I think are very cute. I just think that this island was so skillfully made. I've also tagged the creator of the island in the description for today's video, just because I'm like, wow. They did such a good job. It's Blarla on YouTube. Let's see what's up next. I'm looking at my little guide here. If we go back through to resident services, we can go to that area where all of the custom, not custom, the resident representatives live. And it's such a cute little neighborhood. I mean, look at this. What is this? This is like the center of the neighborhood. We've got a dance floor, very celebratory. I'm loving all the pink and black, definitely a solid theme here. This is so precious, oh my goodness. I don't even know which house to go in first. I guess we'll go in the one at the very top. The houses are designed with real Pandora rooms in mind. So this is the first one, the green room. This is Charlie XCX's house. Very cool. Look at these little designs, blessed and believe. I believe these are also parts of the collection that you can buy. Very cool, very cool. Also these studio lights, what a good idea. This room is a vibe. Okay, we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave Charlie's house. I know, little branches, I definitely agree. Let's see. Oh my gosh, is this Charlie? It is. Believe. Thank you, I will. And then we can go up into this house. This one is the dance room. This is Dante's house, I believe. It is indeed. These are such surreal rooms. I've never seen rooms designed like these in Animal Crossing. I'm also getting arcade vibes again because of the lava lamps. This is so cool to see. I agree, Bob Sarah. The lava lamps are so cool. Which house shall we visit next? This is the selfie space. I'm sold. 
This is Cecilia's house. Look at how cool this is. So here are where some campaign photos can be taken. Very cool. I also love the flowers on the table. I need to use that more because I never use that on my islands. That one felt like a floating space. Do you mean the, uh, the mirrors? Yeah, it did. The dance room. The factory. I'm excited about this one. This is Francesco's house, and it's actually inspired by a real-life factory of Pandora's in Chiang Mai. Look how cool it is! It's like a workspace for Francesco to design jewelry. We've also got, like, some materials here. The gold nuggets, the gold wand, the coin. We have a ring here. I love the detail. Also, look at this. Some more gold. You can weigh it over here. Also, all the plants, like, represent the tropical area this factory is in. That's, like, so cool. I'm being very brief with the houses, but I definitely encourage you all to visit on your own and just hang out. Enjoy the vibes that they're delivering here. And that's okay, Rachel. I hope you enjoy visiting later on your own time. Next up, we have the other creative director's house, the gallery. This is Filippo's house. Check it out. This is featuring like collection items. Look at these custom designs on the wall. Definitely achieving the feel of a gallery. I adore this. Look at all of these custom designs. The way they use the hats to uh, kind of indicate that these are necklaces, the way they're like displayed, that is such a genius idea. And look at the little beanie with the chains. I'm obsessed. Again, if you want to see the actual collection for yourself, link in the description. This is just so cool. I'm obsessed with how real this feels. Okay, let's not linger. Let's go. Hello, Kira and Sassy Klo. And Charlie, I'm doing well. How are you? And I don't believe we have checked out the studio yet. No, we have not. Look at this. I'm loving the energy in this room, the studio. This is Biba Doobie's house. Ah. Oh. Again, so much pink. Loving all these pink items. Big, like, rocker girl vibes. And the cherry blossom branches are just one of my favorite items in general. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Okay, we've checked out all of these. I think we should go to the second level if I can find my way back to resident services. I see the incline. We're very close. Here we go. Look at this! This is the diner, which, like, how amazingly is this designed? This is incredible. Thank you so much, Raven, for subscribing. I adore this. So let me get out of frame. I love the pink diner furniture in general, but I just, wow, and the music playing is so nice. This kind of invokes, like, punk Americana in neon. Loving it. Let's go back and look at all these details. There's even a sink behind the counter for washing up. This is so realistic to a diner. And little TVs on the tables there. Oh my gosh. We need to keep going, but I love that. Also, I really like the way the villager houses are arranged here. They have their own little neighborhoods as well. Look at them. They get like a little oasis. I also really like this island. What am I saying? That this island 
is placed at night because it really does emphasize all of the beautiful light techniques that are used, like with the palm tree lamps here, the ice cream lamps. How cute is that, actually? I can't get over it. There are some things on the other side of the island as well that we need to look at. So let's see if we can finesse our way over there. We're going back through the really cool arcade. I think this is so precious. I love these couches too. And we're going to cross over into the other villager neighborhood, also set up in a little circle, very cutely arranged. Look at this! These are the water gardens. We've got Pandora's logo here. The terraforming is so well done. Look at this. I feel so cool in my outfit also. The hat is almost giving me fedora vibes. Do it for the aesthetic. And we can also go up here. Meringue is enjoying the night in front of the museum, a cutie. Let's see. And we've got the campsite back here. What is over here though? Look how pretty that is. We've got a sunken waterfall, y'all. Sunken waterfalls are like my thing. I love them. Look how pretty this is. I absolutely love it when I go to an island and they have like in-depth terraforming like that. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Once again, Blarla, thank you for everything you do for us. This is so cool. I feel like I've just casually missed some incredible terraforming because I know the map went back further than I have. So we're going to go investigate here. So far, my favorite area, I think, is the sunken waterfall because, of course, very on brand for me. Let's go this way. We didn't before. Look at the little shopping district. Oh, it ends over here with this cute terraforming. Okay. Oop, who subscribed? Fest Arc, thank you for subscribing. I was contemplating the map. I feel like I've missed an incline. Not behind the villager neighborhood, I haven't. We're just casually going around. We're just experiencing everything this island has to offer. You know, actually, I take it back. My favorite area so far is actually the diner. Just because it is so well done. Absolutely no complaints there. Let's go back and check behind the campsite because I didn't really go over there either. What an adventure this is becoming. Hi, Mering. Excuse me, queen. Meringue also fits the aesthetic for the island, being she is a cutie little pink rhino. Oh my gosh, I did look over here! We've got a moon island. Let's just appreciate this little crescent moon. This is so precious. I love it, okay. Look at all these, again, the lighting on this island is so cool. We absolutely love to see it. This is indeed a cute little mini island. I think that's the crucial parts of the island that we have looked at so far. I'm going to show you the map again in case you missed it earlier, in case you're just coming into the stream. Look at this incredible map. I can't believe I didn't notice that earlier. You can literally see the Crescent Moon Island on the map. Look how beautiful that is. If you want to visit, once again, here is the dream address. Just look at how complex the terraforming is on this island. This must have taken so much time. The neighborhoods look so cool. The top left neighborhood looks kind of like a turtle. You know, I bet these actually mimic the pendants. Yeah, in the campaign. That is amazing. Rilla, we stan. Kato, I personally don't stan, but I'm glad for you. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this little tour. 
and I hope you'll visit the Pandora Island as well. I'm really like pleasantly surprised by how much terraforming is going on here. It is absolutely precious. Let's just take another another gander at this incredible sunken waterfall. And yes, remember to check out the custom designs too, so you can, like me, wear this iconic chain link hat. And last reminder, the collection is also linked in the description, so feel free to check that out too. And that's all from me today, besties. I'll leave you with this gorgeous view, and I hope I'll catch you again soon. Goodbye!